Hi everyone, welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you download OpenTX Companion and then back up your radio and model settings for your Radio Master TX12 and then update the firmware. So the first thing we need to do is switch over to the computer so that I can show you where to download the firmware. So we need to go into our browser and into this website. All the links will be in the description below to help you. So we're going to go down and we're going to see the latest release, which is 23.11 at the time of filming. So we click on there and it will tell you all the updates since the previous uh, firmware. But we're going to go down to the bottom and what you need to do is click this link here. All depends on which uh, operating system that you're using, but I use Windows. So you click there and then it will start to download. Once it's downloaded, all you need to do is like any uh, software on your computer, is double click it and install it. It's quite straightforward. You're also going to need every time download the new SD card contents. That's because every time there is a release of OpenTX, you need the new version of the SD card content. So let's take a look. All you would do is click on the SD card contents and go and pick your radio and download those contents. I'm going to do another video on how to update your SD card contents. So let's go back. So now once you've installed the firmware, we need to go and open up the firmware. So let's launch it. I'm going to go to here. Before we take a look at OpenTX Companion, I just want to go through the directory structure that I use for my model. So we're going to switch over to the computer so I can explain this. So I'm going to go to my folders, my radios. Now what I do for my radios is set up directories. So under my Ready Master TX12, you'll see there, there's uh, radio backups. Now that's where I put all my backups of my radio. Then I've got an SD card contents. Now I'm briefly going to go through this so that you understand when we move on to a bit later in the video to what I'm doing. So I have a directory here that said SD card current in radio. That's an exact copy of what's in the radio. Then you'll have the different releases. I have a folder for releases and then you'll see the download of the uh, SD card contents that I've made. So I just wanted to show you this uh, uh, folder structure that I use because we're going to use it in a little while. Now we've launched OpenTX, we need to set up a radio profile for the Radio Master TX12. Now you can see my radios that I have already set up here. So you will need to add a profile and then we're going to put the name of our radio, whatever you want to use. So Radio Master TX12. Now we need to select the correct radio type here. And so we are going to scroll down. We've got a drop down window and there's Ready Master TX12. That's important. Obviously, I'm going to use English. And here I'm going to pick No Heli and Lua. I don't use any of these other options. Now, here we're going to put the paths in that we, I've already explained earlier in the video. So I'm going to go select. And there we go. This one is the SD card. So it's going to be the SD card current in radio. And then my backup one is going to be this one here. Select. And then we go down to the bottom. We need to check the default stick mode. And in my case, you have to pick whichever one you need. I mode one, I'm old school. And then my channel mapping I'm using is AETR. So I'm going to change this. But if you've already put models on your TX12 before you could use companion, you may not want to change this because it may alter all your models. So I would stick to the channel mapping that you already have, but I need to change this for, for my purposes. A-E-T-R. A-E-T-R. Just double check that. A-E-T-R. Then we can say, okay, I don't check any of these options. We can say, okay. Before we move on to the next stage, it's a good idea to take a backup of your radio. Now we can back up the radio model settings so that if the firmware when we replace the firmware with the, new, with the new firmware, we have a problem. We can restore the models. Now, this has happened a few times with me. So it's definitely a good idea to, to make a backup of your radio. And I do it quite regularly. If I change something on one of my models, I normally go and make a, another backup. And it's easy with Companion to do this. We also are going to back up the firmware because 
This is um, the first firm we're going to firm where we're going to update with our OpenTX companion. We don't have a copy of the firmware that's on the radio, so we're going to I'm going to show you how to download that too, so you've got that just in case there was a problem. Plug our TX12 into our computer and then pick the USB storage SD option. And our computer will detect the radio. Now, all we need to do here, we've got all these options down here. And if you just point at them, it will tell you what it's going to do. And that's exactly what we need to do. Read models and settings from radio. So we're going to click that option. And there they come up. There's all the models that are on my radio. Now, all we need to do now is go file, save as, and then I'm going to go into the, the directory we set up earlier, um, which I showed you where I'm going to do my radio backups, and there it is. It's actually already there, but I'm just going to I'll click on there and go save and save. Overwrite it. Now, that's important. We need to do that just in case something goes wrong. So we can now close that. Now we can get on to the part of updating our radio. We need to click this icon here and up pops it, it's checking. So now it knows there's the new version 2.3.11 is available. Do you want to download it? So we're going to say yes. Now we're going to go to, that's my DX16. So we don't want to go into that radio. I want to go into the correct one. So it's this one here and it's going to go into the firmware releases. That's where I'll put those. And I'm going to say, OK, I alter this and put the version there too. So this version is 2.3.11. There we go. I just type that in so I know which version it is. We're going to save. And now it don't load. So I will speed this up. Now let's go and check if the firmware did download. So we're going to go into here to my radios. And we're going to go into the firmware releases. And there's the firmware that we need. OK, so we know it's there and it's in the right directory. OK, we can close this and go back into here. Now, I'm going to show you on the radio what you need to do. Um, I'm going to unplug the radio because we just did the backup. But we need to put it into bootloader mode. So I'm going to switch over to the radio to show you how to do that. Now, what we need to do is push both the trims in and then hit the power button and then let go. Now you can see. OK, once we're in bootloader mode, so then we just plug our radio in again. OK, now we can go back to companion. We've plugged our TX12 into our computer, but let's first, let's go and download the firmware that's already on there. You see this option here allows us to read firmware from radio. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to make sure I'm in the correct uh, directory, which I am. And I'm going to say here, original firmware. Oops. Firmware DX12, just so that we've got that, that version. So we can click save. Let's go check the firmware did download. OK. I'm going to go back to there. So I'm darting all over the place here. And we can have a look. There you go, original firmware. So we've got the original firmware. Now we can write the firmware, the new firmware, to the radio. Now here we go to this option. I'll wait for it to show you. There we go. Write firmware to radio. We click and a window will come up. Now we have to make sure that it's looking in the right place. Now I have several radios on here. So I want to make sure I'm picking the right one. Um, so I'm going to go, that is correct, open TX2311. Click that, say open. All of this you can just leave as standard. I do check the uh, check hardware compatibility, so make sure that's ticked. You can leave everything else as is and then say write firmware. OK, the flashing should be done. So we're going to close. Now we can take, unplug our radio. And then we, on the screen, we will check, pick exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Flaps up. 
Okay, and we can check if our firmware is updated by hitting the system button, going a page across to the right, and then keep going until we come to version. And there you can see the latest version is on this radio, 2.3.11. So it has the latest version. I just wanted to add as a footnote, you can download the SD card contents from the OpenTX website for your radio, the TX12, and then just place them onto an SD card and put that into your radio and you will be good to go. But I'm gonna do a specific video on how to update your SD card, which will be coming out a little bit later for the TX12. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye-bye.